Hey my little unicorn! So, Boo Boo and Poppy went into a bookstore the other day and I decided to buy some books and I'm going to read them to you in a video and then I'm going to send them to your house so you can read them too. Boo Boo and Poppy bought books that we used to read when we were little kids. So this one, and I'm not sure if you've heard of this one, is Possum Magic. So cute. Look at the possums in the in the tree. Well, on a branch anyway. Once upon a time, but not very long ago, deep in the Australian bush lived two possums. Their names were Hush and Grandma Poss. Grandma Poss made bush magic. She made wombats blue and kookaburras pink. She made dingoes smile and emus shrink. But the best magic of all was, turn the page, the magic that made Hush invisible. <laughs> what adventures Hush had? Because she couldn't be seen, she couldn't be squashed by koalas. Because she couldn't be seen, she could slide down kangaroos. Because she couldn't be seen, she was safe from snakes, which is why Grandma Poss had made her invisible in the first place. But one day, quite unexpectedly, Hush said, Grandma, I want to know what I look like. Please could you make me visible again? Of course I can, said Grandma Poss. And she began to look through her magic books. She looked into this book and she looked into that. There was magic for thin and magic for fat. Magic for tall and magic for small. But the magic she was looking for wasn't there at all. The poor little possum just wants to be seen. Grandma Poss looked miserable. Don't worry, Grandma, said Hush. I don't mind. But in her heart of hearts, she did. She didn't want to be invisible anymore. All night long, Grandma Poss thought and thought. The next morning, just before breakfast, she shouted, It's something to do with food! People food, not possum food, but I can't remember what. We'll just have to try to find it. So maybe people food could fix her. So later that day, they left the bush where they'd always been to find what it was that would make Hush seen. On a bike? Possum riding a bike? <laughs> they ate Anzac biscuits in Adelaide, <laughs> Mornay and Minty's in Melbourne, steak and salad in Sydney, and pumpkin scones in Brisbane. Or scones, depending on where you live. But Hush remained invisible. Don't lose heart, said Grandma Poss. Let's see what we can find in Darwin. It was there in far north of Australia that they found a Vegemite sandwich. I love Vegemite. Grandma Poss crossed her claws and crossed her feet. Hush breathed deeply and began to eat. A tail, a tail, shouted both possums at once. <laughs> For there it was, a brand new visible tail. You can see this little Hush's tail, it's so cute. Now I want a Vegemite sandwich. Later, on the beach in Perth, they ate a piece of pavlova. Hush's legs appeared, and so did her body. You look wonderful, you precious possum, said Grandma Poss. Next stop, Tasmania. And over the sea they went. <laughs> I love that they're using an umbrella. Don't try that at home. In Hobart late one night, in the kitchens of the casino, they saw a lamington on a plate. Hush closed her eyes and nibbled. This book's making me hungry. Grandma Poss held her breath and waited. It's worked, it's worked, she cried. 
<laughs> and she was right. Hush could be seen from head to tail. Grandma Posh, um, Posh, <laughs> Posh, Posh, um. Grandma Poss hugged Hush and they both danced. Here we go round the lamington plate <laughs> till early in the morning. That's cute as hell. From that time onwards, Hush was visible. But once a year on her birthday, she and Grandma Poss ate a Vegemite sandwich, a piece of pavlova and half a lamington just to make sure that Hush stayed visible forever. And she did. The end. Ah! <laughs> Boo Boo hasn't read that book in so long. The poor little possum was invisible and just wanted to be seen. Thank goodness they ate some good Australian food. Or New Zealand, but you know, no arguments here. <laughs> it's good food, doesn't matter where it comes from. Good night, Luna.